Hey guys, welcome to the studio. Even though my studio is not for just nail techs, uh, right? Like a nail tech setup for just clients. Um, I do actually have it set up so that it's very functional. The very few times that I do take a client, which is usually like my sister-in-law. So come on over, I'm gonna take you with me. Hey there and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Paola of paolaponsenails.com and I help you master all of your general services using Japanese soft gel only. If this sounds like a niche you'd like to consider exploring and at the end of this video, do consider subscribing. So when it comes to organization, I really believe in efficiency and things being practical and easy to find rather than cute and quaint and adorable and all of that that can come second i'm for that too but if your things are not within arm's reach so that you don't have to get up for every client and they're not really in a way that's efficient to make sure that you get faster then your system your work up is working against you and so in today's video we want to make sure that you're storing efficiently for yourself right so you can actually be faster during your services and not only that that you are maximizing your space so you'll see that i'll have shelves in my studio even though it's not just for like nail appointments i don't have nail appointments it's more for content creation actually the, the layout is still very much for taking on clients but again we done all right i hope you enjoyed today's video and you take a lot of tips thank you for the viewer who recommended that we do a how to organize your snail space um video and i wanted to just guide it so that it's more efficient for you okay like it's not just all cute and quaint the cute and the quaint is cute but we want things to work for you okay so as a nail tech you're gonna have big things that need to be stored. For example, your boxes of the machines that you own, some more inventory like your alcohol and gloves and all of that. So I do recommend that when you move into a place, you do consider having additional storage for things that you're gonna need to stock up on. I'm gonna briefly show you my closet. So again, even though I don't take clients, right? I, I just do this for friends and family now, myself. I still stock up, for instance, these take up space. These are the dental bibs. These are a box of my towelettes, that, those lint-free towelette things. I have my equipment boxes up here. This is all stuff that you probably want to keep because you don't know if you're going to sell your stuff, if you're going to send it back to the manufacturer for repair, who knows? So you do want to keep that. Um, and then miscellaneous things like I have additional, and of course you're going to need a place for your alcohol, your acetone and all that. So here, I have my uh, alcohol solution and look here, you're going to have, this is where I stack up my gloves. So I'm just trying to give you the feel that you are definitely going to need a closet of some sort. You don't want to be storing this stuff in your home. I used to take some of this stuff home because I just didn't want to have it in the studio. Um, but once I got the extra space for it, then I did empty out my house of the nail things because I want my home to be my home and my nail studio to be my nail studio. Obviously, this is shared now. Hey, <laughs> so we're gonna go in my drawers. They, they are pretty organized, again, to be very functional for when I am recording. And this is how I organize my drawers in the salon, all right? So my top drawer is gonna have all of my top coats. Um, I actually don't use that many top coats. I know this looks crazy, but don't forget that I speak about three different brands in our channel. In your first drawer, you should have everything that you need like instantly, and that you have multiple varieties of. For example, I would not put my alcohol or my acetone tone in the drawer I would want that on the counter and we'll talk about that in just a moment but what you do want to have on here is your base coats your top gels and any other gel like a utility gel that you're going to be using during a service you also want to have tools that you use uh, frequently not all the time but frequently for example if you're doing extensions you have oops, free forms here I used to have this one also in my drawer because it's not a cute bottle but basically like if you would accidentally cut a client you need to have this like handy it's like a it's called liquid styptic you may have remembered it from nail school other things that might be in your first drawer again these are items that are necessary but not on the daily or not per every client nail glue right that's necessary i don't really use these anymore i only use these like sometimes on myself but i know that maybe some of you are still using these barber bands 
<laughs> and so those can be there. Um, this is more for my nail art, not for nail dust. Here is some dappin' dishes if you're gonna put water, if you're gonna put alcohol. I have my brush cleaning gel in here also. Here, again, what you would put are those things that you use on every gel nail set, but that don't replenish often like alcohol and acetone. And you're also gonna put your less occasional items like your nail forms and stuff. So for me, it's it's separated in nail brands, okay? Because this is what I use. I don't think you do this with your clients where it's like, okay, I use Cocoa Is and I use Vetro on my clients and all of that, right? So here you are gonna see my Lily Gels and my Leaf Gel. Lily Gel is made by Leaf Gel, so that's right here. Here you're gonna see my Cocoa Is, so all of my base and top gels in bottle form. And then here you're actually going to see my Vetro supplies. And I do put my little pots in here for now. And I have my nail art palettes also here. I have the Isemi and I have the Cocoa Is and these. So just really quick grabs that are just off of my desk but in my drawer, nice and organized. The other thing that's handy here, um, don't mind like little extra stuff there. Like I'm gonna throw this away actually. I don't even bother with a lot of things. If they start getting annoying, they're going in the trash. So this is a little caddy of nail supplies that I don't use regularly, but if I need it, for example, this is my boba gel spatula. It's like right here, okay? This is like my little uh, dusting brush for like, powder ombres so these are like my secondary tools not my primary tools the tools that i need for every service these are those uh every other client may need something from here all right what's in the second drawer and how to organize it oh by the way i think if you want something like this where it's kind of tiered these things are nice i got them on amazon my next drawer is my gel polish just that because as you know i specialize in the use of soft potted gel so i don't really stock up on these these are all primarily the nail thoughts collection of gel polishes yeah so all everything that's in a bottle that's colored it's gonna be in here we just have more cocoa is more vetro these are like the only gel polish or bottled gel that i would use okay so i don't like to spend or divert my focus into in too many places and that's why i only use very few product lines next up this drawer here brushes these are secondary brushes keep the ones that i don't regularly use in a case like this this is called a photo case all right that's what I do. I don't, when I work with my primary brushes, I don't like to mix. I have a lint roller just for like dust and things. I have dental bibs here ready. These are linked in my Amazon store also. I have my refills like cuticle oil. I've had this acetone for a year. That's how much I don't use acetone, guys. Restock on files and buffers and things like that. All right, next up, I have my swatch books and these are really light and they just fit in my drawers. I got these from Presto. You can also see if Vetro will have some extra ones. Um, you can also buy the swatches from Vetro, and this is great to not only give a recommendation on colors, but also like if your customer wants to contribute to the decision process of when you buy new colors, this is how you can do that. I have these for Cocoa Is and Vetro, and I also bought the Leaf Gel one, again, for a recommendation if anybody wants to choose help me choose new colors and i do like to have the swatches or if i like to compare between brands again i own all of the swatches from the three brands that i promote retro leaf show and coco is remember these are brands i've been working with for like many years i don't usually switch brands and i don't add a lot of brands because that's a lot of work <laughs> to get to know a new product line so everything down here is like my stocking supplies so Anything that I need to stock with, like files, masks, and dental bibs. That's my larger drawer. Again, it may look a little bit different from you. Hey, we're back. So now I'm gonna take you to the part of my studio where I put my gels. And again, even though my studio is meant for content creation, this is pretty much how I organize my studio in the salon like for maximum efficiency because actually my chair my working chair is right here and so anytime i need something color related i can just reach here right that can happen in between the service when my clients have to tell me what color they want but otherwise if it's something that i know every client needs like a base coat or top coat remember i keep that on my top drawer so here actually i've been thinking about 
what do I want to do here? I still need to find a case for these. Ooh, 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 actually, I just ordered a thing that came in. Okay, so you know I work with three brands primarily. You may be working with one or two, which is more power to you, by the way. That's really good. You will never find anything better, or maybe you will. And if you do, let me know. But don't show me, actually, because then I might want to buy it. Then these crystal cases for your pots. They're just so perfect. And I actually just ordered a couple more. Right, so this is what we came up with basically my miscellaneous colors and my black and white are going to be in here because these are expected to be used a lot more often right um i only have one lily gel color it's a great line but i'm sticking to leaf gel colors and i actually don't have a lot of leaf gel colors and that's just because i don't want to own too many different colors where i don't know what i have so my primary color line is coco is then it's vetro and then it's leaf gel so i do have them in order it is easier to find them that way so i'm just gonna go ahead and place them over here p.s look at this old school little leaf gel jar that used to come like this So that's my little leaf gel caddy as you can see it fits all in here as far as the potted gel goes now i'm going to dedicate this one to my vetro colors and i really enjoy working with the pots from vetro because they are just so cute Right, and that is our Vetro collection. Okay, Leaf Gel Vetro, and now our Coquiz. Now this is already for the most part organized. Okay, more acrylic boxes. So what I'm gonna put here are going to be the Coquiz Specialty Gels. For me, a specialty gel is a magnetic gel, at least from Cocoa's, the opal gels, the Planet Magnet series. And I'm going to continue that with the Down Under Planet. Five, four, three, two, one. So there's five of those. And this one is going to be my most robust collection. Like I have almost every cocoa's product here i'm gonna come to my essential ones so i have the clears my base coats my builder and all that in the chunky one i'm gonna put my excel builder clear gel in there accessory bonds so these are like my foundation gels okay and i'm gonna put art clear in here also okay here i'm going to put the markers line which is the thick gel bluey white black is black and then i just need room for my boba gel i think i'm gonna put my bigger chunky jars in here so whatever you do just make sure that you always have access to your stuff that you can see them if you just stack them then you'll forget they exist basically okay don't do that all right so this is what we came up with excel builder boba gel and then my gem gel i only have one gem gel and then i have my clear fundamental gels okay okay next we have our color gels black and white gels um and also like our thicker markers line we're gonna throw these in here so now i'm going to go ahead and organize the top of my drawers now that i put my cocoa items in here they are all in there at least all of the ones that i have and we are going to put the cocoa bleeding inks up here this is perfect for that turned out perfect for this this for now all right I can actually buy another one of these if I wanted to build my Cocoa's collection. For now, I'm just going to stack it on top like that. 
they stack they don't move and you always want to have your stuff covered like this because it's actually easier to clean it's i've seen people put their pots out or you know their bottled gel and then it'll just collect a lot of dust and then you'll have to go in there and dust every single one of them and it's necessary to do that but it's also very annoying and then again this one just is meant to go on there it's pretty pretty cool like it will not slide off it's i mean you really have to intentionally want to do that for it to come off i have another whole acrylic case for my swarovskis and things i don't have a lot of things i am a minimalist when it comes to nails like i don't like a whole bunch and be able to do a lot of things with a few things is my recommendation with nail art so we have some stones i have this little binder here a folder album with my foils my decals stick that if it's really nice in there um i've had these some of these glitters and pigments for like years literally like this is like the old school coco is fairy dust 2016 i think at a trade show coco herself gave it to me and i was so excited okay and then we have some stats just a little bit more again be able to do more with less when it comes to nail art so that you're not always buying like these things they go a long way you don't need to use them every single time my aurora paper and then i bought this once upon a time this little case for um breaking all of the aurora paper and keeping it in here it's nicely i don't know this is like the perfect size drawers i think i have them linked in my amazon more crystals at first this was all like a close crystal thing and then i realized using these things and then also i kind of got into charms a little bit like big chunky charms especially like the ones from like korean gel nail brands and i got these magnetic cases which you've already seen from make.n and they are from zillaview little compartments and large compartments these acrylic compartments for many years also um when i moved here um i brought these along with me from california I stocked up on Swarovski a long, long time ago, like 2018, and I still have these. So I'm telling you, if you buy the good, the right stuff, the good stuff, it'll last you a very long time. And okay, now I can scoot everything over a little bit. I got my cocoa whip in here. And then I'm going to stack my Vetro. Okay, my Vetro. I'm going to scoot you over here. Scoot you back here. And I do recommend having a shelf behind your station, okay, behind your table. It's so handy to just be able to be on your chair and turn around and grab something and just turn right back around and, you know, have it there with you. As opposed to, like, getting up and going to find the one thing that you need and that's just time and focus taken away from you. And look how pretty that is. It. i am so happy these are my cocoa is my leaf gel and my vetro as you can see my cocoa is collection dominates more i think it's also your favorite in our community so that's pretty cool so as you can see my nail art and my gels based on collections i do have these leaf gels also now those cream gels and i'm just going to keep them there um for now i think i still want my e-file up here though so all right, so we're going to get to the last part of all of this, which I think is the most efficient. First of all, if you do use a booking software, right, you're booking your clients online, I always like to bring my laptop so that I can make any modifications, maybe work on some emails if I had a little bit of downtime. And I always like to also bring my physical planner, my physical appointment book. Keep your eye out for my version of a planner potentially this year. Just FYI, a little bit of breaking news there. Just keep in mind that this can always grow. And this is one of the reasons why I like soft potted gel because look how easily, beautifully it stores. And again, minimal dust cleanup, right? So that's pretty neat. I don't know about you, but I don't like to clean up all the time. This is it. This is how efficient it is. I'm in my chair right now and I'm like twirling my back station. And then here's going to be my client station. You see how easily that transitions from here to here if before my client goes i can say like by the way did you want to check out the schedule for the next two to three weeks see if we can book you an appointment um 
if we have anything available, right? Because we're highly in demand because of what we do. We specialize. Very easy transition. I didn't even have to get up for that, right? I do get up for taking pictures, but I don't get up for a question like that. Um, we have our e file whether you're right or left, keep that in mind. You are going to want to position your outlets and all of that on your dominant side, I guess. Uh, we have our curing unit. This one is portable, so I all I would do is plug out the cable. Keep that in mind if you're going to have a portable or a, you know, corded unit. The same thing with your e-file. Your e-file might not be corded. I like to have my stuff corded now because, especially e-files, because I just learned over time I'm, I may break them. And it's really not worth $400 to have a battery pack. Either way, uh, rent over. <laughs> Next thing you should have by your station, like super handy, is a close, I repeat that, close trash bin because you don't want the fumes of your alcohol, your acetone, whatever you're using, your gels to really keep coming and you're so close to them. So keep that in mind. You can see I stored down here is my full coverage tips. If you do these on the regular, if they're part of your services, you're gonna have to wanna have those like really close by. The other thing is obviously a phone, something like that, a phone stand, a phone charger. That's all essentials. And I do have my dust collector back here because I can just easily pull it back up to the table. So do keep those things in mind, right? I think you can probably create a checklist and I owe you a checklist. I will have a checklist for you, okay? You can check the description box below so that you can just see, you know, you're like, Paula, I'm licensed. I'm going to set up for independent nail tech then. <laughs> You, you'll, you'll, you can take my checklist okay so i'm gonna give you that just give me some time promise i'll get it together i have so much going on this week it's our final week of our one video per day this month we've created one video per day this month of december all right so as you can see maximum efficiency everything is within hands reach like i've showed you earlier i can just twirl into my appointment book it's right behind me i can just twirl down here to grab a color to grab nail art so let's move on to what you would see while staring at your client right so i'm gonna put you down over here and as you can see again imagine this is her client she's robotic <laughs> and she would be sitting here right her arm would be there and i'll take you behind there you want to have some or maybe i'll just tell you you want to have like a little table or a little stool where she can set down her purse her drink all of that clients come fully loaded i promise with all the things right sometimes they just have their car keys and wallet all right your light keep in mind that if you have a base to it you can move it you know move it as close as you need to you can have a clamp if you don't want like all of the stuff here but for me this worked out better um you will then spread your towel i had a towel on my table and then i just switched out the dental bibs the the like disposable towel that i use during their service so i just tossed that out this is a silicone mat these are nice for nail art and things like that but for me it works really good for when i'm filming it diffuses the light a little bit so i actually use it more for what it does to my light all right this right here guys is money or maybe this can be over here. For me, again, as a content creator, my my right side got a little bit like heavy over there with the technology. For you, that's not going to be the case. If you're right-handed, most of your stuff is actually going to lean very heavily to your right hand. But because I had to use both sides, of course, then I had to set things on the left side. If you're a content creator, also a nail tech, um, make sure you stick around by me, by the way. I do have a coaching program. It's a little bit high ticket. But if you want to get into like legit, I make a living, like a full on living content creating. Not just off of YouTube. I have like strategies for selling your things, whether they're physical or digital, primarily digital. So um, it's called the virtual nail tech. Keep an eye out on information when that pops up. Take it one step at a time. If you're doing press-ons, focus on press-ons only, okay? For a while, like a three-month commitment, three to six-month commitment, three to 12-month commitment on just one business and then switch focus if if that has grown or it's not where you want it to be or you realize you no longer want to do it. Then do something else. Then say, okay, well, you know what? I'm doing the in-person education or the in-person clientele, whatever it may be, right? And then you're like, you know what? I did that for a few years, like me. I did that for five years and I just wanted to change of life, you know? And I was like, I want to do something different, you know? And at that time, um, I could take time from work and I had the support of my husband financially and emotionally to help me just, you know, transition into my new life as a mother, as a homekeeper, and then um, do the content creating around that schedule, okay? So I prioritize my family, my home to the day till this day okay unless we're doing something crazy like a 30-day challenge then 
uh, you know, then we have to balance both things. But either way, this is money right here. You want your nail caddy. I've explained my nail caddy like in a few different videos, tutorials and things like that. I hope that is super helpful because everything in here you exactly need. Let me just take you through a quick rundown of what you need. You need your dusting tools. For, this is for personal use, only for me, okay, or nail art. And this is the one you want to use to disinfect, okay? I know Nail School 101 tool that you're always going to need is going to be your stir stick french cleaning brush i can't live without this <laughs> again for personal use i can reuse my files right because they're for me okay and i have my core files in there i don't just stash all my files in there it's only the ones that i actually use on the regular and then i have what i call my primary brushes these are the brushes that i'm always going to be using um base gel top gel builder gel they're all in here i've already told you how you can designate a brush to your gels in a previous video part of this 30 day video challenge a little bit of water like if i need it for a quick cleanup or decals also acetone alcohol in my dispensers keep those closed especially when you leave because they do evaporate hand lotion that's just personal toner this is like my wake up i'm not kidding i feel like my mind just got refreshed just personal use. <laughs> the little things that work. If you want to know how I got through this 30 day video challenge, it was really like considering in the mornings, like that quiet time was me time and it involved a 4.30 a.m. wake up call. But I was going to do it. And I realized that the, on the days that I slept in just a little bit, everything got backed up really, really bad. So yeah, thank you for your support. And I hope you continue to support this. If I can help you do it for free for a little while until you're ready to invest in your best like nail education, then we can do that for you. Lint free towelette. And these are like my tools, personal use disinfectant, right? <laughs> I'm still keeping up with the labeling and then a few nail primary nail art tools, right? Remember my secondary nail art tools? Okay, I don't have anything here that I don't need regularly. Like if I'm going to sit down and do my nails, Everything I need is right there, unless I'm doing some special crazy nail art or something. All right, EBIT kit. I just found this little nifty tool, which I thought was pretty cool. It keeps the dust in there to, for your e-files. I do recommend that you have something like this with a gap in between, or maybe that has drawers, because this is going to be money, like literal money. If you do nail art, like even just a little bit, the quickest way to upgrade your clientele is by having a little extra time in the schedule, right? And she says, I want to do something fun today and you just go like oh really and, and pull out that quick notebook or any of those other organiz and organization binders folders you saw us do that video like maybe two weeks ago i used to have my quick nail art right here so if it fits in here i would even bring maybe that acrylic bin i would put it down here like for real like it's just easy money not to not have it right here unless you just like the space and the cleanliness but you know what i usually have my notebooks in here which are my like i have a lot of notebooks okay and planners which is why i have something coming for you light cameras action customer have your tools there that's it guys this is how i work efficiently when i started my nail studio here for content creation and i have a model the setup was exactly the same as much as i could as to my salon setup i needed it to be exactly the same i needed to be able to reach everything has to be within reach e-file tools everything trash right my booking is right here well my computer comes over here when obviously i'm working but when i'm not working it's as easy as i'm plugging it and that's why i moved on to a laptop it's back here um and i can just swivel and turn around and grab anything i need so to the day i still work as efficiently as i did in the salon as a nail tag if you enjoyed this video do let me know in the comment section what was your favorite organization tip today let me ask you are you a passionate diyer in the niche of soft gel nails considering making the leap over to becoming pro or are you doing nails as a creative outlet or maybe you're coming back to the industry after a break well, I have very good news for you. If you are in any of these positions, the doors to my coaching program, Master Gel Nails Pro, are opening up very soon. MGM Pro is the roadmap to a successful career in nails. It includes all of my signature courses like the Master Gel Nails course that teaches you how to apply all of your gel nail services with only Japanese soft shell, the efficient ethyl masterclass specifically dedicated for soft gel specialists, the client booster camp course to help you get booked out 
even if you're just starting out and nail affiliate in case you want to learn all of my tips and tricks to make income as an affiliate for your favorite nail brands. We'll also have group coaching calls to answer all of your questions as you go through the course, plus a bunch of other little but mighty support resources to help you go from newbie to being your own boss doing nails. I truly believe this is the only program you will need to book yourself out in the business of nails, working with the products you love the most, offering only the services you enjoy doing, and attracting a loyal, raving and returning clientele who will want to see no one else for their nails but you. You can say that in this course, I'm virtually taking you by the hand and helping you become a successful independent nail tech. If this is the year you wanna take your nail journey to the next level and get serious and hyper-focused and make this a success, then I wanna invite you to join the waitlist for MGN Pro using the link in the description box below. When you join this VIP list, you'll receive the best perks for signing up to MGM Pro early. This program opens up only twice a year, and before you and I know it, the doors to it will open and close for this season. So take a moment to pause this video and enroll in that waitlist, aka the VIP list, to be the first to know everything.